In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using card flows. Here is the settings page of card flows and I want to point out the knowledge base link. You can click on that to learn more about how to get the most out of card flows. We also have a link here to the community on Facebook and we also have a link here to submit a ticket if you run into any trouble. We want to make sure that we are available to you while you're using card flows. Now card flows sits on top of WooCommerce. The very first thing you want to do is create a product in WooCommerce for each product you want in your sales flow. So you're going to want one for your checkout. If you want to have an order bump, you need to create a product for that. If you're going to have an upsell, you'll want to create a product for that. Same with a downsell. So that's what we're going to do here first. And with WooCommerce installed, I'm going to go to products. I'm going to click on add new. Now the first thing we need to do is add a product name. Now this name is going to show on your customer's receipt. So you want to make sure it's an appropriate name. So for this product, I'm going to choose sales funnel secrets. Now you would scroll down here and enter in a price. So for this product, I'm entering in the price of $199. We have more detailed instructions in our knowledge base on how to set up these products, but this is really all we need for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. Okay, now that that's published, I'm gonna go to cart flows and then click on flows. And then I'm gonna create my first flow by choosing add new. Now the first thing you'll do is choose the page builder you want to use for this flow. We have Elementor, Divi is coming, and Beaver Builder is coming soon. For now, I'll click on Elementor, and I can scroll through all of these and see which one I want. You can hover over and see a preview. Now when you do a preview, it opens in a new tab so that you can view each step in the flow. So the first would be landing. I'll click right here to see the checkout. I'll click right here to see the thank you page, and I like this design. So I'm going to click the X in the top right, and it takes me back. And I'm going to choose that. So I'll click on import. It'll just take a moment to import each of those three pages that we just saw in the preview. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do here is name this flow. This will be for internal purposes only. So for this flow, I'm going to name it sales funnel secrets and then click on update. Now a flow is simply a series of steps. In this flow, we have a landing page that will flow down to a checkout page and then a thank you page. The most important thing that you should do now is on each of these steps that involve a product, we need to go in there and select the actual product. So for this flow, the only step that includes a product is this checkout page. So let's do that first by clicking on edit, and this is going to take us into the checkout page. I will scroll down, and here are the options that Cart Flows adds. Now the very th first thing we're going to want to do is click on select product, and then start entering the product name. Here's my product. I'll click on that and that's all I needed to do to add it to this cart. Now you can optionally add additional products if you like and there's other options here for the checkout. This is all that I wanted to do so I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Now you can also change the name of this checkout step from checkout page to what you want and you can also change the link to the checkout which is also known as the page slug by clicking on edit and entering in whatever you would like and then clicking on OK. I'll go ahead and click on update and now I'm going to choose this button right here which will take me back to my flow. If you've noticed the name here that the label on the step has updated and that's because this is simply the name of that step and I just renamed it. So if you wanted to rename landing page or thank you page you can easily do that. Now if I wanted to start customizing the landing page design I would click on the edit option and then choose edit with Elementor because that's the page builder I chose. However, if you chose a different page builder, you can go into that editor. Now when you scroll down here, these are the options for this particular step. Each step will have its own options. However, these right here are really when you're starting from scratch, you'll need the link right here that will take the visitor to the next step in the flow. But since we're using a template, it's already been added. So I can click on edit with Elementor and literally edit anything on this page, any bit of text on this page. But that link that I just showed you has already been added to all the buttons on this page. So 
let's go back and let's go back to our flow again. Now I like the way that this flow is and if I want to make it usable, there's one thing you need to uncheck. Right here it says enable test mode. So you'll uncheck that, click on update, and now we're ready to test this. There are two ways to enter the first step of your flow. I can go to the first step and click on view or I can click on flows and here is my sales flow. I can click on view right here. Let's do that. I'll click on view. Here is the page. I like this. I'll click on the get started now and it takes me straight to the checkout and we can see that my product is listed right there and the price is right there. Now when your visitor comes to this page and fills it out, they'll end up on that thank you page. But what happens if you want to add an additional step? Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back into the flow. I'm going to click on add new step and then right here you would choose the step type. So if I wanted to add an upsell, I could click on upsell right here and then choose the upsell that I wanted and add that to my flow. And then you can reorder your steps very easily just like that. You need to make sure that your steps are in the order that you want your buyer to go through in this sales flow. So that's it for this getting started video. I want to encourage you to check out our knowledge base. If you run into any trouble, you can open a ticket or ask a fellow CartFlows user in the Facebook group. Thank you for using CartFlows.